In this video, I'm going to share six simple self-care ideas that I found helpful for managing stress and just feeling my best day to day, even when I'm busy. The first self-care idea is to create small moments of joy. I've started being more intentional about experiencing joy on a more daily basis. And it's even something that's on my vision board. So I'm just keeping it top of mind and really seeking out opportunities where I can lighten up and just have more more fun and experience joy and it's really made a big difference in both my mood and energy. One way that I've been creating these small moments of joy is by turning typically mundane activities and habits into something that feels really light and fun and I do this by pairing something that I really enjoy doing with something that I need to do. So for me, this looks like taking my supplements each morning can feel kind of boring and just routine, not like anything special. But when I put in my AirPods and listen to some music and I just kind of dance around and have fun as I take my supplements, it really transforms the experience and it really is like a moment of joy for me to start my day um, just feeling really good, listening to music that I like, it gives me like a mood boost, an energy boost, and I get a little movement in as I'm dancing. And it's just a really fun way to start my day that otherwise would have felt really bland and just kind of boring taking my supplements. I'll often use the same strategy when I'm cooking as well to make the experience more enjoyable. I'll play some music or listen to a podcast that I enjoy. And it just transforms the experience and takes it from blah to actually being enjoyable. So you can ask yourself, how can I make a boring habit more enjoyable? and really create those small moments of joy in your day-to-day -day life. The next self-care idea is to intentionally slow down. Now, honestly, this is something that is still pretty challenging for me and something that I'm still working towards, but I find that I do feel more relaxed and more calm when I intentionally do activities that force me to slow down my pace. It often feels like I'm running a mile a minute with you know, working nine to five, balancing YouTube outside of work, maintaining healthy habits, spending time with friends and loved ones. Like it can just be a lot and it can feel like I'm just moving from one thing to the next without really pausing or taking time to slow down. So this is something that I'm trying to prioritize right now is just embracing stillness and just slowing down my pace. Some of the activities that I do when I want to intentionally slow down are read a book, maybe go on a walk, do some journaling, maybe meditate for a few minutes, doing yoga or some simple stretching, and also cooking. All of these activities allow me to practice mindfulness and just being in the present moment, which always brings me a sense of calm and less stress. If you're enjoying these self-care ideas so far, I would love it if you click the like button so the video can be shared with more people. I appreciate it. The next self-care idea is to go to sleep a few minutes earlier than usual. I know I'm not alone with this one, but I feel so run down and absolutely depleted when I don't get enough sleep on a regular basis. So going to sleep a few minutes earlier whether it's just maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes earlier is self-care for me. Y'all, I have a confession. If you watched my tips for getting better sleep video, I mentioned that I had given up caffeine back in February. And so it had been a several month streak that I was doing well with not drinking caffeine. If you haven't seen that video, I have it linked down in the description box for you to check out next. But y'all, I slipped. <laughs> I slipped and started drinking caffeine again for like two weeks and it was all bad. Like, okay, I knew that it was going to disrupt my sleep and I wasn't going to sleep as well, but I didn't realize that it was also going to mess up my stomach. Um, I knew that coffee was a no-go with having IBS, but for me, I can't have any caffeine on a regular basis um, because it is a trigger for IBS, unfortunately. So I'm detoxing again and the struggle is real. So I absolutely have to prioritize sleep. There's no other option. I can't rely on caffeine. Detoxing from caffeine is really annoying. 
so I really have to prioritize sleep. Like sleep is a non-negotiable self-care activity for me these days. If you had to pick one, what would you say is your non-negotiable self-care activity? Like something that you just have to prioritize. Let me know down in the comments. The next self-care idea is to eat nourishing food. What I eat directly affects how I feel and especially with having what feels like the world's most sensitive stomach, I have to be on top of my food game. Making nourishing meals is an act of self-care for me. And the meals can't just be healthy, they have to be delicious and tasty too. So in order to do that regularly, I have to prioritize meal planning, grocery shopping, and cooking each week. I know that doing the meal planning and grocery shopping and cooking doesn't always feel like self-care in the moment, but I know that it's going to benefit future me. And so I totally see that as a form of self-care. The next self-care idea is to fully feel your feelings. I don't believe that self-care is all about just feeling really good and happy all the time. Sometimes self-care is feeling the full range of emotions, whether that's feeling happy, feeling sad, feeling frustrated, completely stressed out, it's just allowing myself to fully feel whatever I'm feeling and then to allow those emotions to pass and to process them. Even in these not so happy moments, the self-care aspect is having compassion for myself and treating myself kindly even when things aren't going as I expected. Oftentimes I do this through journaling. I'll pull out my journal and simply write down whatever is on my mind, write down the situation that's bothering me. I'll talk myself through the situation like I would a friend. And usually by the end of it, it feels like a huge weight that's been lifted off of my shoulders. I've gotten what was bothering me off of my mind. And usually by the end of it, I have a new perspective and kind of see the situation differently or even have come up with possible solutions or things that I can do to address the situation. The next self-care idea is to do enjoyable movement. And this might be one of my favorite ways to practice self-care. Just moving my body in a way that feels really good to me is just the best. The activity that would feel good really depends on the day, depending on my energy level, how tight or sore my muscles feel, and how I feel like challenging my body that day. This could look like doing a dance fitness workout, going on a walk, or maybe doing Pilates or some yoga for something more chill. If you're interested in being more active at home, check out the video I have linked on the screen where I discuss fitness mindset tips that will help you work out consistently at home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Stay true to you. Come on, moisture. Come on, glisten.